What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another finally Let's Rides video. Today, this morning, I've got uh, I've got Zealous's, uh, my roommate, his uh, Honda CB650R 2023. This thing is crazy, man. It's uh, brand new. It's literally, if I turn the key on, let's see, look at that dash light up. It's only got 796 kilometers on it. This thing is brand new. He's just passed braking. Um, it's got a Akropovich exhaust, as you can see there, with the four inline cylinder. It's basically like if you've seen my other video with the Honda CBR650R, which is the sport version of this. I was riding Tio's bike. Um, it's crazy, man. So, again, thank you to Callum Zealous. My boy hooked it up. So we're going to be riding this. It's fully de-restricted, I think and it hasn't been tuned yet so it crackles a bit but it doesn't shoot too many flames yet uh, i think he's gonna get it tuned i think he wants to change the stock mirrors as well maybe to some bar ends so he's done the levers um what else and the tail tidy as well that's about it everything on this bike is just super super clean it's just so nice you know why because it's all black Oh, and he's got the frame sliders, of course, as well. Like, look at it. The peg's black. Everything, just everything I see here, it's just completely blacked out. It's so sick. All right, let's go for a ride. Also, a quick shout-out as well. Zealous Tire Riding by Sigma Customs with Inari and Street Tom. Did it for the boy. So that is sick as hell. And, of course, we've got the tank pads as well. But let's see that dash start up one more time. Woo, clean. All right, it's about midday. It's overcast as hell, and it is sort of raining a tiny bit here and there, so we'll take it pretty easy, but should be good. All right, let's start it up. Ooh. It's already warm. I've been riding it for a bit now, so... <laughs> We want to take it easy as gravel around here. I think he said he doesn't have the best tires on it as well yet, but regardless, they're still brand new, so should be okay as long as it doesn't rain. Don't rain on me. Oh boy, this thing feels nice. All right, let's do it. Ooh. Is that a street fighter? Ooh. So he doesn't have a quick shifter on this yet, but I did. Uh, I have been doing the shift ups lately with. Um, you can. Uh, what am I saying? You can like shift up when you let off throttle, like when you go and the higher RPMs, and then sort of like this, ready? Oh my god, it's not working! <laughs> Wait. There we go. So yeah, you just go up in a higher RPM, and then you let off throttle, and then you kick up, and it should shift up as well, which is uh, pretty handy if you don't have a quick shift up. I think it's a lot smoother when you're in high gears. I think in lower gears it's a bit harder to do, but... Or maybe not really recommended. Sweet! The roads are quiet today. Let's go! Oh, this thing is nice. Feel so much wind. <laughs> it's because I'm right next to an airfield as well. God damn, it's cold. Now this bike though, oh my, it is nice. 
Like I love the uh, like for a naked, for a lambs naked bike, like for a beginner naked bike. This is if you don't want like the talky end type of things, like with the MT07, and this is what you want, because this is basically the Honda CBR 650R, like that I rode in that other video. It's literally that. Oh, I'm sorry. <sighs> sorry. Uh, yeah, it's literally that though, but just on a naked bike. So, if nakeds are more your thing, like zealous, and this thing is good. This thing is good. You know what? I think I might do a U-turn. I think I might. I want to go onto the highway with this thing to see how it really goes. Woo! That's nice, man. Good sound. Really good sound. Of course, though, it's a Kropovich, so they always sound very fine. Oh, no. We're stuck behind a huge... Bro, no! Is the learner going to go? Oh, I really thought the learner was going to go. I'm sorry, I don't want to BM this learner driver, but I'm going I'm to just... Sorry, dude. Hopefully, I didn't scare them or anything. Just on a... Just on a lamb's bike, man. I'm a learner, too. Nice man, nice bike. I don't really know uh, too many cons about uh, Hondas actually, because I'm not, I'm not too in like no, no offense to Honda, but I'm not too invested in their brand, so I don't really know anything that they do wrong per se. Like, I feel like a Honda bike is a pretty reputable, like pretty reputable bike. Whitney. I mean, that's what you get with uh, naked bikes, so. Okay, I'm gonna get off the highway. It is way too windy for this. Oh my god, where are you going? You can't wait. Confused. Very confused. Oh. Honestly though, the feeling of this bike is so smooth, dude. Like finely tuned smooth. I've been seeing this bike on YouTube. Uh, quite a bit lately actually because it's a obviously a brand new bike for the 23 uh, Let's go this way actually And it's been getting like a bit bit of attention So I think like I would say it's competitors are obviously again the MT-07 and maybe like the street triples like street triple 660 Pull on the throttle. I don't know if it's just because it's de-restricted or whatever, but oh, the torque on it is like it's it's not torque compared to like an MT07, but you still feel the pull, and it has the high end that like an MT07 doesn't have. This thing is very nice. Like personally, it's not for me. I think it's uh like the design at the front. I mean, you could say the same for the MT07. Nah. Naked bikes need a bit of work, like with a beginner lambs market. Hold on. But, 
regardless, this thing, for what it is, like, is beautiful. And the fact you can get it all blacked out, all it needs is like, I reckon, just some bar end mirrors, like for the front, like what you look at every day when you're riding it, it's just some bar end mirrors. This thing is sexy as hell. Like I could, I could disregard the headlight. Maybe if you change the stock indicators and the bar end mirrors, but everything else is like pitch perfect on this thing. Like I love the dash. Oh, we just did a full loop. That was quick. Oh, it's because I took the first exit because it was so windy. I'm not going back on the highway. Oh, but like this dash is really clean. I mean, it's definitely something you would expect from a 2023 model, like same as the R7 that I did have. Uh, <laughs> um, the dash was really clean. Like I think uh, it's definitely it feels modded. It feels good. Oh, sorry. I'm not even paying attention. It's green. Sorry, dude. It is so responsive, dude. Like, every command I'm giving it, like, oh, so good. Yeah, for real though, if you're looking at picking one of these up and you want like a more uh, top end bike, so like what I mean by that is like the power ratio, power band, whatever is like keeps its power up top and not down low because I know that this thing I'm not gonna do anything you know today uh, just because Ellis said you know take it easy so that's all good like but yeah I mean if you want hey look there's a plane taking off that's cool um, yeah if you're gonna get a talky bike definitely go for the MT I'd say like a Gen 2 because uh, I'm not a fan of the Gen 3 MT-07s because of the headlights, but that's just me. Um, but if you want a CB, I mean, I don't really know the history about CB bikes, but this thing, I don't know if they've done all black before, but a 23 CB 650R is mint. Like, so mint. So, so, so mint. I've put, like, I've already passed, I've just got over 800 Ks now, and this thing is clean as hell. Let's take a look at it one more time. You know, one thing I will say though, Zealous, like, I'm glad you got this bike because it is definitely for the uh, shorter side of people, you know? My, I'm about six foot and my knees are bending and uh, this is a good size for you, Callum. It's a good size. <laughs> I'm just kidding, bro. But for real though, I think I'm gonna end the video here. This thing, highways, windy as hell. Um, street riding though, normally this thing is clean super clean definitely pick one up if you're thinking about getting it i don't really have to say much more i literally don't even know any cons about this bike except for like if you're not into the look of like maybe the headlight design maybe there might be a way to customize that but like everything else about this bike is like power delivery what it offers for like a beginner rider if this is like a beginner bike for you or like you want to keep this in general you still be able to do pretty much everything you need on it it's mint so thank you guys again for watching this video shout out to zealous go check out the thrill channel subscribe to mine i'll see you guys in the next let's ride series let me know in a comment down below what bike you want me to see ride next and uh yeah see you next time peace